check. I gotta do a check. Detroit, if y'all in the motherfucking building, make some noise. Detroit, hip-hop, if y'all in the building, make some motherfucking noise. Listen, my name is Big Taff. I came a long way to be a part of this. This is the first day of my industry tour. If y'all want to hear it from the beginning, I'm ready to get it started now. If y'all don't know about me, my name is Big Half. I started off in 2002 working at Last Speed Records. 2003, I started working at Shady Records with M50, D12, Open Train, Green Lantern. 2005, I started working at Cox Records. I did the whole Jim Jones stuff. DJ Khaled, DJ Unk, BG, Slip Thug. 2010, I started working at Epic Records. I'm in the big homie L.A. Reed. So I'm in the building to check out some Detroit hip hop. So Detroit, if y'all in the building, make some motherfucking noise. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I, I started working for the passion just of music by itself. The passion just helping um, underground artists get on into the mainstream. So, you know, uh, seeing a lot of people that I've worked with and, and I knew from back in the days get on to be successful artists, I wanted to uh, provide an opportunity for upcoming artists to do the same thing. I mean, do radio promotion, do artist development, um, artist and reports on the a &R sessions that we do, um, help from new artists from, from the ground level, from underground artists to the mainstream. So, I like to deliver a good, good product to the public. You know, just trying to make some great stuff happen, you know, for the next generation. It's an artist to wear this tour. Uh, it's an artist to wear this tour just to develop artists um, in each market, retail, radio, DJ listening sessions, and then performances. So we try to give them resources that they can develop in each market to help build a nice, concrete fan base. It's been great. Uh, from, I've been doing this tour for three years. So a lot of artists on this tour have gone on to get record deals, a lot of got distribution deals, development deals. So it's, 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 it's going along in the right path that I, I think I needed to go into. Uh, you know, we just did uh, the Lace Up Tour of Machine Gun Kelly, so it's been, it's been a great experience. So I just want to, I like to see the next generation of talent grow to the next level. That's what really cool. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm working on uh, developing a curriculum for uh, a, a music institute for the uh, alternative education program. So I'm working on that. Uh, I'm also working on a TV show, Channel 216 News, which is uh, you know just a music uh, music news program. And then I'm also working on you know a bigger and better platform, uh, a movie, and then I'm working on. A, uh, Another couple tours that we're going to uh, involve, engage into the into the third and fourth quarter of the year. So, yeah, uh, MGK Black Flag coming on the way. Got uh, Ray Junior uh, elected tour coming on the way, and then uh, another big heavy industry tour. Um, you know what? Two of my key essentials is, um, you know, stay humble, stay grounded. Everybody can tell you that. But also develop a team, a team that's going to stay committed and, and have the same goals and, and, um, and the same things that you believe in. And I believe that it, it takes a great team, whether it be a manager, whether it be a role, a, a role manager, whether it be a PR person, whether it be an online person, to make that art is successful. So if you have those two entities into place, I think you'll be a successful artist, booking agent, all that good stuff. So you need all those elements in place. A great team, teamwork makes a dream work. Uh, I know it's a cliche thing, but it's the right thing to do to put yourself in a good place, in a better place as an artist. And then at the end of the day, you have to read. Read about your uh, rights as a, a producer, rights as an artist, publishing, copyrights, all that kind of stuff because those are going to protect you and your intellectual property as you grow through this industry. So. Uh, you know what, the, the, um, one of the main things that I believe in is I believe in self-empowerment, especially in this music industry, and um, I think education is a key, vital uh, component to every team, to every uh, facility, to every label, so a lot of stuff that I preach and I, I grow through is, 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 is doing self-empowerment, self-education, um, self alternative education with the music industry, so I open up school classes, everything I go to uh, different schools, different uh, self-education, Salvation Army, whatever it is, 
but I want to make sure that the next generation of talent has the education so they don't get robbed for their royalties, their publishing, um, for their performing rights and so forth. So I think that as we grow and the music industry grows and it, as it uh, diversifies because, you know, we need licensing agreements, management agreements, all that kind of stuff. So, yo, that's what the, the tour is about. Big health industry, teach you how the industry works. We do information, we do education, and we also do, you know, life skills, life skills. Studies. So, big hair, y'all here. Ten years in the game. Oh. One last thing, where can people find you? They, Twitter, IG, Facebook, oh, whatever. Follow me anywhere, man. B I G H E F F on Twitter. Big Half Midwest Industry Fresh. Big Half Industry Tour and um, you know, not Google me, man. Not. That's Jordan. We out here. We in Detroit. Shout out, get out. You know what I'm saying? We in the 614, 614 to 313, man. Big Half Ohio Industry Tour. We out here.